Welcome back, Internet people. My name is Ryan, and today we are playing Oblivion. I'm on a horse, and there is a majestic hill over there through the trees. It's much good that you see it through the trees, because the texture on that ground is just awful. Lucy and Lachance has sent us to silence. Someone in a cave in the middle of nowhere. Seriously, the middle of nowhere. There is nothing nearby. And that, dear friends, is a zombie that lags ahead. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, just wandering in, hitting you with a glass sword. Beautiful. This guy's got all sorts of fun stuff in his cave with him. A journal of some kind, perhaps? This passage looks interesting. Even the most pedestrian peasant fairy tale has long held that a lich must somehow remain bound to his soul, and that connection most commonly manifests itself as a transference of the spirit into an actual physical object. An urn or sarcophagus, a crystal file. One Khajiit fairy tale even tells of a lich who preserved his spirit in the severed head of a wood elf infant. Fools and folklore, true liches possess no such weakness. Oh well. <laughs> He's constructed something called the Sands of Resolve, an hourglass that has to stay in his possession until the transference of his soul into it is complete. Afterwards, he'll become a lich, I suppose. Hmm. Well then, that makes this easy. All I have to do is manage to sneak up on him and steal the sands. It's a good thing I am such an accomplished thief. I see you in the darkness, Mr. Skeleton. This is a hole. Oh goodness, he is awake and wandering around. Do I jump down in the hole, or do I look through his crates? It is pretty dim. He is walking around rather fastidiously. I'm gonna hide out in here and wait until he goes to bed. Or does he go to bed? I don't even know. Do people who are turning into liches sleep? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad that this guy is nearly blind. I guess it is, you know, really, really dark in here. Ha! Well then, that was ridiculously easy. Just grab the scale and off he goes. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Okay then. Oh, look at this. He's got a pile of bones. And a coffin. This guy decided to be buried with his retort. Well, that's that for this awful game, then, isn't it? Oh, I don't like the noises that this cave is making. I'm going to get out of here fairly quickly. The note in the last dead drop said 
something about the big oak tree and coral. That's a very ballsy place to put a murderous note. What if a young child were to find it? <laughs> just, uh, don't mind me. I'm just looking. Just look, oh, right here. I must kill five family members. Family called the Draconis family or something. Unfortunately, apparently we're not 100% sure where all of them are, but we do know that the head of the family is it. This little place, I've actually been here before. Apple Watch. It's a little hut out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there she is. Oh, before I speak to her, perhaps I should look less like an any like an assassin, and more like uh, whoever I'm gonna pretend to be. Hello. Oh, hello there. I'm sorry, you startled me. My nerves get rattled rather easily these days, I'm afraid. Living alone will do that to you. Mm. Now, is there something I can help you with? I'm, I'm looking for your children. My children? Whatever for? Oh, oh dear. Excuse an old woman's stupidity. You're here to pick up my gift list. Uh, Using your yeah. gift service was the smartest thing I've ever done. My children are spread across Cyrodiil, and it's so hard to shop for them all. So here's the list of all my precious little ones, though I dare say they're not so little anymore. <laughs> they grow up so fast, I swear. You'll notice that the list gives each child's location and some suggestions for gifts. Oh, and here's the gold I'm supposed to give you. Now please go. Those children are so dear to me, and I'd really like you to get them something special. Thanks again. Wow. That is... That is, uh... I am so sorry, Miss Lady. Oh, you seem so sweet. I will kill you in your sleep. That's the least I can do. Not like that necromancer. He was a jerk face looking toward a guy. The statue is new. Oh my god, it's of me. That's... I, I really don't deserve a statue. All I did was close some gates. Ah, uh, I think we are going to... Have a nap until this evening. It's not quite night yet, but oh, the dog might complicate things. Oh, stop being so sweet, lady. You're gonna make me really regret killing you. Again. I don't know what else you could need. I gave you the list. That should tell you where you can find my children and what they want. Now please, make sure my gifts get to the children. I'm counting on you. Okay. I, I really want to wait until she's sleeping. that ruckus in there. By the nine divines, a song! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, the dog hates me now. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Why would anybody want her dead? There's nothing in this house. She's just living alone. I guess it's not my place to wonder these things. First to visit Matthias. She wants him to get a, uh... Oh god, you're running right into a wall horse. Um, she wants me to get him a... Suit of armor. So that he may be Listen, well protected. That's funny. Yes? It's my pleasure. Please, continue. Who are you? And what are you doing in Matthias's house? I don't care. I can see for killing this man. Am I killing the right family? I must be. I have to get to the Drunken Dragon Inn. Where is the Drunken Dragon Inn? Of course, it's in the middle of nowhere. I don't understand these people who open inns in the middle of nowhere. Okay, it must be up behind this ridge somewhere. There has to be a road. There is not a road to this inn. Aha. He was supposed to get new wine glasses. But instead, he's gonna get... Glass sword to the face! That is a fantastic logo. Hello. Hey there, pal. Need a room? Looking for a room? Nope. Hmm. All right, then. You're not one for talking. I can respect that. Well, if you need anything, just let me know. You take care now, buddy. Okay. What do you need, champion? Not a thing. I need to wait until one or both of you goes to sleep. You know? Looking for a room? As a matter of fact... Sure, friend. I'll take it. Very good. You take care now, buddy. You take care now, buddy, also. I will sleep in your simple room with the jello windows. It is midnight, and you are both still awake. You are drunk, though. This is good. This is very good. I wonder if I can pull this off. I just murdered a man with a guard standing right in front of me. I should get a medal. My third victim is a... is a guard, as a matter of fact. The mother seems to think that she's becoming a lesbian. And wants me to get her girl things. I'm afraid that will not be happening. Is that her? That is, we will deal with her next time, Internet people. Thanks for watching.